Eight things you should know before traveling to Tokyo. Tokyo, officially known as the Tokyo Metropolis, is Japan's capital and most populous province. The provincial capital is located at the head of Tokyo Bay, and is part of the Kant region, on Japan's main island of Honshu's central Pacific coast. Tokyo is the country's political and economic center, as well as the residence of the Emperor of Japan, and the national government. The prefecture's population is expected to be 14.04 million by 2021. With more than 37.393 million residents as of 2020, the Greater Tokyo Area is the world's most populous metropolitan area. Tokyo's vibrant capital has its own distinct culture, and is a constantly changing landscape of social norms and conventions. While some of the city's more traditional customs, are gradually being phased out, as it becomes more international, it's worth knowing what they are, so you don't get caught off guard. In today's video, we will feature Tokyo, and learn about Japanese culture and prepare to the best of your ability, prior you visit Tokyo. Here are the top 8 things you should know before visiting the place. But before we start, welcome to Momidi TV. We create videos about travel destinations that will feature travel tips, safety, and products for everyone from first-time backpackers to seasoned travelers. We hope to inspire you to get there, enjoy your travel and have fun that the amazing world can offer. Please subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to click on the notification bell. So whenever we upload video on travel tips, you will be updated. Also, please give this video a big thumbs up. For any comments and suggestions, you may leave a comment below. Now, let us get back to the video. Greetings. As with most etiquette, it's best to follow the lead of the person you're with, or the person introducing you. Just remember, that the lower status person bows first, and more deeply than the elder. Most Japanese people, particularly the younger generation, will not expect you to bow and will instead reach for a handshake. If you're meeting friends, use something more casual, such as asu, which is equivalent to saying hey or what's up. Sumimasen versus Arigato. When a Westerner does a small favor, such as holding open a door, or returning a jacket left on a subway seat, the natural reaction is to say thank you, or Arigato. However, Sumimasen or sorry for the inconvenience, is a much more natural and Japanese way of saying sorry for the inconvenience. Having a meal out. Itadakima is a polite greeting to say before meals, but it is uncommon to say it when dining out, especially in younger company. But, if you're in a counter-style restaurant, where you can see the food being prepared, you can say Gatsu or Gatsu-sama. The equivalent of my compliments to the chef, to the cook before you leave. Service When dining out, Westerners are accustomed to greeting staff, thanking store employees, and leaving tips for the servers. Things are a little different in Japan. There's no need to return the early morning bow, or respond to the resounding era shimasi or welcome, that greets shoppers at every turn. There is also no need to leave tips because service charges are already included in the bill. Chopsticks It's very useful to know how to use chopsticks, and it's not difficult to learn. Many traditional restaurants may not even offer alternatives to the Chinese-style soup spoon, making it difficult to eat noodles with it. In a restaurant, Never rub your chopsticks together, this is equivalent to saying, these are cheap. When you're finished eating, return the disposable chopsticks to the paper bag and fold the corner back. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to smash the like button, and subscribe to this channel. Now, let us get back to the video. 
slippers. Wear the provided guest slippers whenever possible. When there is a situation where shoes are not permitted, other shoes will be lined up with the toes facing the door, and indoor slippers will be waiting. Wearing shoes into the inner sanctums of a temple, tea ceremony rooms, or onsen is considered impolite. It's common in hotel rooms to have a separate pair of slippers, just for the bathroom, and don't wear those outside of the toilet. When entering someone's home, always remove your shoes, and replace them with house slippers if your hosts provide them, though some families may prefer sock feet. Driving Japan drives on the left side of the road, with the driver's side on the car's right. The signage is in English or Romaji, and the speeds are in kilometers per hour. Many countries accept international driving permits, which allow the holder to drive in Japan for up to a year. In Tokyo, bike lanes are scarce, so be prepared to share the road. Japanese vs English Except in major tourist areas, such as Yoyagi Park and subway stations, English signage and announcements are not widely available. Many Japanese people do not speak English, or are hesitant to do so. Furthermore, because there are so many foreigners in cities like Tokyo, who speak perfect Japanese, locals will often prefer to speak in their native tongue first. University students studying the language and professionals who use English for work will, on the other hand, be delighted to practice with visitors. And that is it, thank you for watching Momi DTV, please hit the like button and subscribe, see you in the next video.